Today we're going to go see Venus pass in front of the sun in a party like only Puerto Rico can do it. All right, well, right now we are heading off for an event that is not going to happen for another 105 years. Don't bother doing the math. You'll be dead by then. Now what's happening tonight is happening over the entire world. Venus is going to pass in front of the sun. Right here in Puerto Rico, we have a special vantage point and it's called El Morro, the old Spanish castle. Why? Because it's at the end of the island and there will be nothing between us and Venus except ocean. So we're looking forward. There's supposed to be some sort of a big shindig down there tonight. NASA, I guess, has got some sort of guy down there who will be explaining a few things. You know, it's Puerto Rico, so you never really know exactly what's gonna happen until you get there. Leaving Santurce, we make our way through the historic upscale district of Miramar and pass into Old San Juan. And we're in. We've been told to get here early, but judging by the crowd we find when we arrive, we aren't early enough. NASA has a van set up for everyone who hasn't gotten there in time for the dark glasses they've been handing out. They also have telescopes set up where people are lining up to see the eclipse in real time. We're in the middle. Apocalyptic event. Apocalyptic. The only apocalyptic event is when the clouds roll in right on cue and covers the sun, just as Venus is going to make its debut. But no one seems too upset. This is Puerto Rico. The crowd means a party, and the party means music, food, and fun. Even though we didn't get there in time to receive the glasses NASA had handed out, like proper couch potatoes, we just watched the eclipse on NASA's screen. The time is 6.58 p.m. The eclipse is officially over. The world is not. 